Well, this next gentleman needs no introduction on our end. Mr. Mike Kelton is receiving the 2023 Landmark Award for his contributions to NASCAR. So we're going to welcome in Mr. Mike Kelton. Kim, and we're very familiar with Mr. Helton. We are, and he's going to be shy and he's going to be humble. But, man, what an honor you're receiving tonight. Kind of tell us how you're feeling and what it was like to hear your name for this award. It uh, Even being nominated was intimidating. Uh, but this is very humbling to, to have been chosen because I've watched the voting process for all these years and know how tough they can be on people. But uh, to have been chosen for this this year is it's it's humbling, and I would assume somebody else had got it, but it doesn't take anything away from being very appreciative of it. Well, Mr. Helton, we know that this is a big night for the three that are going in, but it's also a big night for you and your family. So knowing that you are going to be honored at a Hall of Fame ceremony for the most prestigious honor in the sport, what does it mean to, to get to celebrate tonight, but also just to hang out with the Hall of Famers? Well, it uh, you know just being in this building in any, any form or fashion, to me is impressive and there's a lot of nooks and corners around here that you can go uh, tell people stories about the background of the sport but to be in that hall of honor on the wall with the landmark winners and all those inductees and you look at uh, the heritage and the history it's it's really doesn't seem real to be able to be put into that category you know with with Andy B France or or Ralph Seagraves or Jim Hunters of the world that that I felt really did a lot more for NASCAR, but and there's a lot of other people that have. But you know, I, I'm a very I'm very grateful for being chosen for the award. But to be in this hall, and and that's the part I don't think I've got my head wrapped around yet is to be in this hall and hanging in part of it with all of its history and heritage. That's that's pretty humbling. This is the 13th class we are inducting. Thinking back to 2010 when we had the inaugural class, you've been in the sport for decades. How important was it that NASCAR had a Hall of Fame to be able to honor all of the legends that this sport has seen? I think walking around here today reminds you of how important it was for us to have a Hall. And when we went through the process of picking where the Hall was going to be, uh, you know, everybody, Charlotte's a natural and it, it really probably was, but we went through a process, and Charlotte did have the best uh, model for hosting our heritage and our history, and it's evident today that this was the right choice. But in 2006, when we started all the process of even trying to consider how you put a Hall of Fame together, I think, I think the group did a really good job, and Winston's been a good caretaker of our history. Well, we're honoring three legends tonight. What do you think of the class of 2023? Well, you know, so that when somebody says you're the, the 13th class, I say, well, then I jinxed it. But, <laughs> but uh, when I look at Herschel and Kirk and Matt and what, what great stories and truly Hall of Fame worthy um, they are. And to be in the same night of celebration with the three of them is an honor. You don't have to, you don't have to tell us, but how often was Matt called to the hauler in his day? <laughs> More than most people think, <laughs> because uh, as 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 solid and as as under the radar type yeah, personality yeah. Matt had, he had another side of it. But you know, it uh, we got to know each other pretty well. <laughs> That's the perfect answer. <laughs> there is not a single driver in the sport that has not mentioned a story involving Mike Helton being called to the hauler, you helping them out, or giving them advice. But. 75 years of the sport. Can you believe that we're going to celebrate the 75th anniversary and that we made it 75 years? And that's, that speaks for itself. I mean, to, for the, the bones of NASCAR to have started 75 years ago and still operate today, basically under the same categories and the same goals and wishes that it was founded and formed in, speaks to the character of the sport, but it also speaks to all the characters that have been through the sport that were part of this family and, and did what they did to get us where we are today, which reminds us that we're all just keepers of time in this sport. And somebody's going to celebrate the 100th anniversary of NASCAR because of the people today that carry the torch. So what do you hope for the 100th anniversary or even further the next 75 years? Well, uh, 
everybody, all the stakeholders being in good shape. Mm. The fans, the car owners, the drivers, the racetracks, the seats filled everywhere we go. Uh, the drivers still being as entertaining as they are today. Uh, and, and I think there's, there's a lot of opportunity still for NASCAR 25 years or even another 75 years from now. It's going to be uh, interesting to see it all come together again. Well, you've had the privilege and the responsibility, it may not have been a privilege some days, to work with drivers in the past decades and also now the future stars of our sport and the guys who are in the Cup Series right now. But watching the next gen come together and us taking on the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum with the Clash and now we're going to Chicago with a street course this year. Are you excited for the future of the sport? I am. And that comes with the future leaders, uh, not only at the race teams, uh, the drivers. And I'm, I'm looking at my fourth generation of drivers. When I got in here, it was like big brothers. And then the little brothers, and then children, now it's grandchildren. Uh, but but that's, that's the, the strength of the sport, to evolve to the next generation seamlessly. And uh, so I think we benefit from all that, and, and the future looks pretty good. The future looks bright. We appreciate everything you do for the sport. Enjoy tonight and have fun. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you, Mr. Helton.